Feels good to be on a trail. Heading to at least Link Lake, maybe Lake Mountain and the Whitefish Range. We'll see. Still some snow here. Chilly morning, about 48 degrees. Rained overnight. Beautiful woods. And the trail doesn't waste any time gaining elevation. Feels like late spring up here. You can hear the varied thrush. And that's the way I came from. I got to the first junction here. Nessa Cohen Peak and Lake Mountain are that way. And Link Lake is this way. I might go cast a few and see if this clears up a little bit. Otherwise, there's not going to be much of a view up there. Lots of flowers. It may be July, what, 10th at lower elevation. But uh, up here, it's more like early summer, late spring. And the lake is down there. Got a brief glimpse of it a minute ago, but uh, got to get down to it, up and over this saddle. I made it to Link Lake. Nice couple fire rings there if you wanted to do some backcountry camping here. Pretty spot. Well, I pulled up to the parking area. The trailhead, it didn't look like anybody was here, but there was a truck pulling in just in front of me. Three people got out. And of course they were hiking up to Lake Mountain and possibly beyond, which is a little bit of a buzzkill. So I figured I'd come down this way first, let them get ahead of me, they were young bucks. never caught up to me before I split off to the lake, but I imagine it was only a matter of time and they would. Another view of the lake, really pretty. That's a canine prince, but uh, they're kind of small to be dog, um, wolf. I'm thinking dog, since this is a dog-friendly trail. All right, I think I'll head up the mountain, see what happens. If I were going to stay here, I'd definitely have to put my fleece on. I'm just in short sleeves, which is fine while hiking uphill, but a little chilly when you're stationary or hiking down. All right, back at the junction. That's the way back down to the car. That's the way up to the top of Lake Mountain. And Nahuskin, I think is how you pronounce it. Lake Mountain is the third highest peak in the Whitefish Range, at least on the US side. And Nahuskin is number one. Onward and upward. Probably can't hear my heart beating on this video, but I can certainly hear it beating in my ears. I've barely just begun and I've been rewarded richly already. That's the lake I was down at just a few minutes ago. 
That is something. A couple of switchbacks later. Bear grass is just starting to bloom up here. Looks like there's one a little further ahead that's further along, about center frame. Let's see what that looks like. Lots of flowers, very pretty. Like I said earlier, it may be well into summer in other parts of the world, but the Northern Rockies, it's spring. Eighteen of these. Getting breezy. Crested a bit of a ridge and all of a sudden walking downhill. I have a feeling I'll be walking uphill again here in the not too distant future. It's a pretty woods walk though. Just carpeted with flowers. Well, technically this tree still hasn't hit the ground because it's being held up by two and a half feet of snow. That tree, on the other hand, has been on the ground for some time. Lots of bear grass, just not blooming. Hey, bear! Well, when I left the lake, it was starting to clear up, the sun was starting to poke through. As I uh, gain elevation here, it's doing just the opposite. Hopefully it clears before I get to the top. I'm getting relatively close. Another half hour, maybe. Well, I'm getting close. Plus, I heard some people up ahead, so I think I'm catching up to them. And it's socked in pretty good. All right. That just looks like it's gonna be an epic view, so I've got to uh, step off the trail here. Hopefully we can see something. Oh man, that must be chain lakes. And it's still winter down there. Look at that. That is awesome. Well, the view has gone away, at least in that direction. I mean, it's still pretty incredible up here. Looks like this is the final grunt to the summit. Maybe a couple hundred more yards would be my guess. I had to stop here. The wind is picking up up here on the summit and it is getting chilly, so I had to stop and put on a layer where I had some shelter because I have a feeling once I'm up there, I want to be exposed. I forgot to mention that final push here, and uh, you can't see it here, but the trail kind of goes around that tree and then drops. You really miss switchbacks because it's just straight up. All right, to the top. Well, I made it to the top. No view today. Oh well, 
good exercise. Lots of pretty flowers. That blue one is really pretty. So I was just over there at the summit. And you can see there's a car in here. A little bit of a snow, um, snow pile there you gotta traverse around. And then, I don't know if you can see it, but there's a path that switchbacks down here. And Nahoskin, which is the tallest peak in the Whitefish Range, at least south of the border here, is, I believe, right over there. Pretty impressive pyramid-shaped peak from the pictures I've seen. Uh, isn't it beautiful? Oh, well. The group that was in front of me, I caught up to them, and they're heading that way. I am not going to bother with that. That's like another three miles another 2,000 feet in elevation gain, and no view. So I'm gonna head back down. Well, I'm not gonna lie and say I'm not a bit bummed. Disappointing not to see the views, because uh, it's supposed to be pretty epic views of the Whitefish Range here. The glacier would dominate the sky out in that direction. First view of the lake down there, which has disappeared. Oh well, so it goes in the mountains. You never know what to expect. Guess that means I just gotta do this again someday. This is pretty cool. Kind of a ridge walk here. And uh, with a pretty steep drop off back down to that lake. Still looks like March down there. I can only imagine what this looks like on a clear day. Which, by the way, today was supposed to be sunny. Reliable forecasts, as always. Cleared up a bit. Well, those would be the peaks of Glacier National Park. Uh, let's see, probably up around Kintla. Kintla Lake, that area. Up the North Fork. If only I could see it. I didn't notice this coming up, but uh, that is a larch. And that's the way larch look uh, early May around the house, which is 36, 3,700 feet. Matter of fact, I gotta look and see what the elevation is here. 7,560, so about 4,000 feet above the house. And that's why this larch is a little bit behind. I'm actually kind of surprised it's growing up here. Uh, some, I passed some people that were coming up and they were hoping the clouds would break when they get up there. Doesn't look like it's going to happen, but man, look at it in that direction. That's pretty cool. It's raining.
but I didn't hang out up there too much longer. It was a little chilly with the wind. Coming uphill, the body generates plenty of heat. But just standing around and going downhill, it might be harder on the joints going downhill, but it does nothing to generate much heat. Boy, I bet this is beautiful on a good bear grass. This is, this is all bear grass. If it were blooming, it would be blindingly white. Looking back down to Link Lake, clearing up a little over here. Of course, right here, it's raining. Not hard enough to bother stopping to put on rain gear because I have a feeling it'll probably stop. And it's not like I'm staying in the back country. I'm getting in a car, so I'll be all right. The sun and the blue skies are kind of playing peekaboo with me here today. See the trail down here and then I, I think over there. 18 switchbacks on this trail is what the trail report says and that's why. Walking straight up this puppy would be brutal. Alright, getting close to the junction that drops down to Link Lake and parking lot. Got to get one last look at this view. And that is probably the rain that was just over me a few minutes ago. And back at the junction, to the left is Link Lake, to the right is the parking area. About 500 feet down. How much longer is that going to be standing? It's always tough to get a true representation of the incline or grade on video, but this trail makes wastes no time climbing up to the saddle it's got to get over to get down to Link Lake. And that's steep. And the center frame there, that's the road and the parking area down there. Well, that's interesting. Was something in here eating these, or did they just get trampled? Getting close. Good hike, I'll have to do that again. This time on a clear day.